guys, Christy here from De Silva Life and welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be talking about goal setting and habit tracking in ClickUp. Because here's the thing, a lot of times we set goals for ourselves, especially New Year's resolutions, and then we actually forget what they even are. Never mind, haven't even touched them. Okay, so this is a true story, I promise. This is at beginning of 2022, it's still January. And at the end of 2021, in December, only a month ago, I was talking to Jeff, my business partner and husband, who I love so much. And I was like, Jeff, I'm gonna evaluate how my goals went for last year. I already have an idea of like some that I didn't hit, some that I did really well at, personal and business. And he was like, Christy, honestly, do you remember all the goals that you actually set last year? And usually the answer would be no, but last year I decided to put all of my goals, personal and business into ClickUp. And I actually knew every single goal that I set out to achieve. Not to mention throughout the year, I also was tracking the progress of these goals. And it was super encouraging and motivational, but also super fun to see that progress bar go up as I was actually achieving those goals. Because reality is that so many times we set our goals and because we don't even remember where that piece of paper went or what the goals were, we don't remember to work on them every day and build the habits that we need to achieve those goals. So today I wanna to give you a couple tips on how to actually set and track your goals and habits within ClickUp. So to start off the instructional portion of this video, I'm going to go through ClickUp goals section, which is a really way to visually map out, get your whole team on board in your overarching goals. And then I'm gonna show you in our annual goals and habit tracker to show you the different ways that you can also map out goals um, within your business in another visual way. So here we have the goal section. We can create different folders in here. So say I wanted to create a folder called revenue goals and we keep all of the goals in here throughout the different years. And then I can go ahead and move this to that folder if I wanted to. So just showing you that quick option. I'm gonna show you in here and then I'll create a new one from scratch. So if we click into 100K in 2021, goal is to make six figures in 2021. Then you'll see here there were two, there are different targets that you can create, right? So we have 25K, 50K, 75, and 100K. When you're clicking into the target, this is a monetary goal. So you can say, okay, this target was between 50,000 and 75,000. So if I add 10,000, it's going to increase the progress of this target. And then if I go ahead and say, okay, we made another 15,000, then it's gonna go ahead, pop confetti, because I completed that target, and now our goal is 75% complete. You can see the whole timeline of this goal as well as things are being updated, which is really awesome. So, if we're going back to goals, I can create a new goal, and let's name this one Launch Course. You can have an owner, so who is responsible for this goal. If it's the whole team, you can select multiple people. You can choose to have this available to the DL, to the whole entire workspace, or to have it private. If there's a goal date, you can put that in there. So let's just say March 1st. And then you can choose a description. So let's say launch system school. course. Okay. And then you press okay. Now this is this fresh new goal. And now we can create specific and measurable pieces, AKA targets that must be accomplished in order to reach your goal. So let's click create a target. And this one will write as outline course. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna be responsible for this. And then what is this type of target? You can either have a number, true, false, done or not done, currency if it's a monetary goal, and then, or you can link tasks and lists within your workspace to 
track the um, target of this goal. So I'm just gonna put true false and press okay. And I'm gonna do one more. So let's add another target and we'll say record modules. Okay, so then I'm gonna say this one is me as well. And then this one you can say, okay, say there was gonna be five modules in the course, then this would go up as I am recording them. So once I go in, I can say, okay, this is currently in project on progress. Now it's finished. So I've outlined the course and okay, I've recorded two modules. Awesome. So now we know we are 70% into the course launch and we are getting closer to reaching that goal. So here you can see the progress of these goals. If you wanna link them to tasks or lists in your workspace, then you'll be able to do that as well. And this will automatically update as you complete those tasks. So now let me show you just in our annual goals and habit tracker. So here we have 2022 goals. This is grouped by the custom field category. And we have put in here business goals, financial, personal development, family, and relationship. You can change these around as much as you want. You can put different goals here for yourself. And you'll see something cool here is the use of this custom field progress bar. So if you use the auto progress bar and you have different subtasks for a goal, then when you complete one of them, it's going to increase the overall progress. So this is the percentage of subtask checklists and assigned comments completed within this main parent task. So just seeing a really simple way, you can add assignees to these specific targets and subtasks. You can communicate about them back and forth. So this just makes it a little bit more robust if you are wanting to keep everything in one place and add attachments, comments, things like that. But of course, in the goal section, you can also link tasks to those goals. So then you can always go back to the task and see the activity within there. Then we have our habit tracker. So this is a really fun way if you are someone who loves checking things off to be able to map out the habits that you would like to start tracking and maintaining. And then you can check off these different habits um, every single day, you can group them by daily, every other day, three times per week, once per week, and then really see how you're doing on the habits that you've set out. Something I would highly recommend when habit tracking is going ahead and favoriting your habit tracker list. So when you're bouncing between different tasks and you remember, okay, I want to make sure I'm tracking my habits for the day, you can just easily click into here and then go ahead and track your habits. Remind yourself of what you're even setting out to do. And then we have the quarterly breakdown. So here it is mimicking the 2021 goals, I mean 2022 goals list, but it's just saying, okay, let's break it down in between quarters so we can really get into the nitty gritty of planning when we're going to accomplish these goals. So this was just the overview of our annual goals and habit tracker template. This is available in our shop and our membership if you are interested in joining or downloading this from our shop. And I hope this just gives you a good representation of how you are able to track and manage those goals. And one more thing I wanted to mention is if you do want to track these habits or set these goals for yourself, if you go ahead and you assign yourself Let's say, um, okay, we want to read 10 or 12 books this year, right? And underneath we put January, we want to finish the book Atomic Habits. How appropriate. If I go ahead and I put that I want to achieve this goal and I want to achieve it by the end of January, when I go ahead and look on my overview calendar, so now when I'm in the everything view, I have added this calendar and put a filter where the assignee is me and put on show subtasks. 
So now I see everything that I have to do, right? There's nothing in here, but if I add myself to different tasks, it will show up. And this is where I'm seeing every single day when I check my calendar, okay, by the end of January, I want to finish reading Atomic Habits. Or you can even put a start date in here as well. Say you wanted to put January 1st to 31st, and then when I refresh, it already popped up, you'll see, okay, Christy, you're supposed to be reading this book throughout the month of January. So if you set these due dates, you put on your calendar, you assign yourself and keep yourself accountable, you will achieve the goals that you set out. So hopefully that gave you a bit of information on how you can actually set and maintain the goals that you plan to achieve for the year. And here's the thing, a lot of times we'll forget about our goals, right? But if we set something in our ClickUp or on our calendar and we see those tasks being overdue day by day. It is so much more of an urgency in our head because we realize we're not working on the things that we really wanted to and that we set out to achieve. So making sure that you are setting these goals, putting them somewhere that's gonna keep you accountable, putting due dates on them, and making sure that you're held accountable is what's really going to push you to achieve that goal you really desire. So I am wishing you the best for this year or whenever you're watching this video, whatever goals that you're trying to achieve, I know you can get there and I'm cheering you on.